Welcome back to this week's Aldi haul where I had so much fun finding so many new items. I cannot wait to share with you guys everything I found. Plus this week's taste test is gonna be so good. Um, and I also wanted to just share how much money I save from Aldi. I swear buying this stuff from other places, it would be so much more expensive. And coming from someone who's been shopping at all different stores now, discovering how many, like how much things cost, how the prices are, and I just shopped at Sprouts right after this, and I almost spent the same amount for one bag, where this was three bags worth of groceries. So I just wanna give a shout out to Aldi for really like giving those prices to us at the best they can. So right now, let's get right into it. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Starting here with some frozen foods. So I saw these, this was the last bag actually, and I had to grab it. It's the Casa Mamita brand. They're the mini tacos in Southwest veggie. Now today, today is Cinco de Mayo. So I got on a Cinco de Mayo kick. You'll see all the stuff I got. Um, so I wanted to try these out because they are black beans, bell peppers, jack cheese, chipotle sauce, and it's in a fried crunchy corn tortilla. And I looked at the back and it is vegetarian. So thank goodness. And there's 24 mini tacos in here. So these must be mini, mini. And yes, I will be trying these in the taste test because these look amazing. Can't wait to try them. Now I found this awesome street taco kit. Now, if you go anywhere else, this thing would probably be closer to $20. This was $10 and it has, it's a complete meal kit. It says it's ready in 20 minutes. It makes eight tacos. It has everything you need. So this really reminded me of HelloFresh. I've used HelloFresh several times. I love HelloFresh. Um, and it's kind of the same, kind of similar to what they're doing, which is like everything's included. You just need to have your own cooking utensils. But I wanted to show you the back and show you what's included. So in here, there is the corn tortillas, cilantro pesto sauce, pork carnitas, a, and a medley of poblano peppers and onions. And then it tells you exactly what you need. So it really does remind me of a meal kit where you just, you know, you don't need anything else except for your cooking utensils to make this. So I feel like Tim's gonna be loving this. He hasn't seen any of the stuff I bought him and I got him a lot of stuff. So stay tuned if you like shrimp, ham, um, all this, all the uh, meat stuff I got for Tim this week. Now moving on to some mashed potatoes. I discovered these, thank goodness, they're the same brand we absolutely love for tater tots and I got those tater tots too. Um, but it's the, what is this brand? It's like Lamb Weston. Um, they have such a supreme over, like better than anybody else potatoes. So I wanted to try these mashed potatoes. I've been wanting to make shepherd's pie. And in fact, I'm making that tonight. My mom just, I just got off the phone with her. She gave me the recipe and I'm so excited. I've been craving that. I grew up eating shepherd's pie. So, um, we're going to use these mashed potatoes for them. So I'm excited that they have these and I'm really hoping that they're delicious. Uh, now to another really fun shrimp taco mix with veggies, red beans, and spices. So this is obviously for my husband, but I felt like the packaging really caught my eye. And I really like that it is a complete like stuffing for inside of your taco. So Tim has options for um, Cinco de Mayo. We're gonna have um, tacos. So actually I'm filming this on Thursday. So if you hear me kind of going back and forth today for you guys, it's Cinco de Mayo. For me, it's a Thursday and that's why I'm having shepherd's pie. But tomorrow I'm having tacos. So now that we cleared that up, this one looked really fun. It has veggies, red beans, and spices, like I said, and it is just like a whole complete kit. So that's really cool. Got a couple more frozen things to show you guys. So I got him some black tiger shrimp. These are jumbos and they're massive. Tim loves shrimp in case you couldn't have guessed. Um, so I grabbed him these because it's just something that he likes to have on hand whenever he's making pasta or pretty much anything he wants shrimp with, he'll just cook some up. And he does like the raw shrimp that are um, obviously peeled, deveined. I think these are actually are cooked. Yeah, these are ones are cooked, which is fine. He'll still eat them. He just prefers them raw. And then here are the crispy tots that I was talking about. I love these. Both him and I agree. These are the best of the best. You can't find better unless I haven't tried them yet, but so far, these are our favorite. And then up here, I grabbed a couple other frozen items. So we've got the black bean and corn enchiladas. These are vegetarian. They also had cheese ones. However, those had a chicken base and it was made me sad because I was like, oh, the cheese ones aren't vegetarian even though they're just cheese. So 
I don't know what demographic they're going for. I guess everybody can like cheese enchiladas, of course, but I was sad because I wanted to try them. But these are great too, black bean and corn enchiladas. Can't wait to try those. And then I grabbed Tim more shrimp, can you believe it? Bacon wrapped shrimp stuffed with jalapeno and cream cheese. I feel like he's gonna love those. This is perfect for hosting and entertaining and having people over, just pop them in the air fryer and they're good to go. So that's it for the frozen. I'm gonna put that away and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're moving on to some of the refrigerated stuff which I found kind of in the deli section. So they have the new Alouette uh, spreads. They have a garden vegetable and they have a toasted everything. I couldn't between decide between the two, so I grabbed both of them. They both look delicious and I've been making a lot of sandwiches lately and I feel like these would be great spreads to just have as a base. I like using all different stuff. Sometimes I do hummus, sometimes I'll do mustard, just whatever I'm feeling. Avocado, um, and cheese spreads are always good on sandwiches too. So wanted to try these as well and these will be tried in the taste test so you guys can see if we like them. Um, hello, they have dill pickle hummus. So you better believe I bought two because I haven't seen or been able to find this in so long and I was so excited. I love dill pickle hummus. This is vegan, gluten free and looks amazing. I can't wait to dip right into it. I headed over to Sprouts, like I said, got some cucumbers because I love cucumbers and dill pickle hummus. That's my favorite combo. So had to get two of those. I also grabbed a couple things for Tim in the deli section. So I got him some jalapeno and cheddar smoked sausages. He loves these during the summer when we pull out the grill. Um, it was really hot here in California for the last week. It was like literally sweating weather. It was 90. Today it's raining, so I don't know. Bipolar weather. So I figure we'll just get a head start on when it starts to warm up again. Now I know you guys know that Tim likes ham. So I decided to get him two kinds um, just because we've been making sandwiches, like I said, and it's nice to have ham on hand for him. So I got this one and then I also got the one that's just like the deli style. I feel like he likes the look of this one. He's definitely like, he looks at it and sees if it's something he he would like. So I try to shop the best I can for ham for Tim. Now moving on to probably my most exciting thing I found. Now, here they are. These are little pasta salads and I absolutely love pasta salad. I love making my own, but I wanted to give these a try just to let you guys know how they taste, how they compare to my homemade fresh one that I do every summer. So this one is the Fresh and Zesty Rotini. It is, it has red and green peppers, onions, and it's in a light vinaigrette dressing. 130 calories for a three quarters of a cup. Um, we all know pasta salads are a little on the high calorie side and that's fine. There is canola oil in here. So if you are worried about oils, this is not for you. Um, I try to do the best I can, but with this uh, YouTube channel, I definitely wanna taste it all for you guys. So here is what it looks like. And then the other one I grabbed, which I'm really excited for because I love Caprese, is the Summer Caprese Pasta. So they have cherry tomatoes in this, sun-dried tomatoes, red peppers, mozzarella, and a roasted garlic vinaigrette. This looks fantastic. I cannot wait to try both of these. So yeah, these were like, these got me going in the shopping mood. Right when I saw these, I'm like, yes, please, let's get them both. I wanna try them. And then right next to it, of course, is potato salad and I wanted to try their potato salad. They have original, they also have a mustard one, which I definitely wanna try, but Tim does not like must mustard. So we're gonna try this one to start and see if he likes this one, but I like that it has celery, pickles, onions, eggs, bell peppers, and it's in a blended dressing. So I'm excited to try this and I'm sure some of you guys Whoops, got a little raspberry stain on there. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have tried this and I would love to hear your thoughts on it, but we will be trying this in the taste test as well. We're gonna have a massive taste test this week, which makes it really fun, but also tons of food. Uh, um, and then you guys, surprise, got raspberries, which you probably knew, because it stained my potato salad. Um, but these are my sons and I can't tell you how much berries have gone up right now, $4 for this tiny little thing, but I keep telling myself $4 for raspberries is better than $4 for chips. So I'm just trying to remind myself to um, buy healthy even if it's more expensive. 
Got some Ben's Ready Rice, Spanish style. Um, they had, I just got two because I love having these pre-made rices ready to go on hand. Uh, they, they're convenient, they help dinner just get go by faster and I can just have it right then and there. I am such a procrastinator when it comes to planning dinner, guys. Like honestly, it's the hour before and I'm like looking through everything, what am I gonna make? And so that's the way my brain works. And so th having things like this makes my dinner prep so much faster and especially if I'm like an, in a funk and I can't think of anything. Um, I love making burritos. We just, we have our go-to, so this is perfect. I found this Vita Life Pineapple Mango Organic Sparkling Probiotic Drink. There was only one left on the shelf, so I thought, you know what? This was for me. They were waiting for me to pick it up. It is a limited edition flavor, 70 calories. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I did read the back, and I was disappointed to see that there is... Um, what is it? Natural flavors, organic natural flavors in here, which I don't, I mean like, why is that necessary? There's already mango and pineapple. I feel like it is gonna be a definitely a delicious drink, but we'll find out in the taste test and see how it goes. Then I got this, there was only one of these left on the shelf, so I wanted to try it. Macaroni and cheese pesto. Actually, this is for my son, um, and it is imported from Italy. He loves pesto and he loves mac and cheese, so I think this combo is gonna be a real winner for him. So I grabbed that. Now, I got some sprinkles. I just wanna tell you, during the holidays, I bake, and I like making all different things. They never have sprinkles during the holidays. I can never find them. So I saw these and I was like, I'm getting them and they're gonna last until, you know, November-ish when the holiday season starts. So I got these in prep for the future because I can never find them. And these were a fantastic price and they are the Betty Crocker brand. So if you were curious. Now these two little cuties, I have been First of all, I got that little kit, I don't know, a few months back that had a bunch of different Tupperwares and they were small. I use those every single day. Now I like my glass Tupperware always, but sending my son who's six to school with glass Tupperware is a huge risk. So I've been gravitating towards some plastic, um, hard plastic ones. These I love because they are a, like a two-parter here. So it's a lemon flip pod, and then they also have the tomato flip pod or veggie flip pod. And what's cool about this is you can store your produce um, upside down. So you just put your tomato in there and then just put the lid on it or your onion or whatever, avocado. Now, if you wanna use it as a container, you just flip it and then use the lid as you would normally any other container. So I like that they had a dual purpose for these and they made the lids intentionally to have a lip so that way when you set your item on it, it's not gonna slide off and fall onto the floor when you open it. So I just really like this. And these are, I'm telling you, the Aldi Tupperwares that they sell are so good, like so good. So I had to get it. Um, are these dishwasher safe? Dishwasher safe, baby. Okay, definitely maybe having to go in and buy more because I love these. Um, also found some chalk for Benson. I just bought him some chalk at Target and it was in the tiniest little pack for $3.99. This is $48 for $3.99 and it has tie-dye, polka dot, glitter, and neon chalk. Come on, if you were a kid, you know you'd want this and summer's here, so Benson's gonna be chalking it up all summer long. <laughs> and then I also got these for Benson. These aren't the healthiest bars, I know, but I felt like how fun, if I was a kid, I would have been loving these bars. So they have the Chex Mix birthday cake and they also have the Chex Mix cookies and cream. Definitely wanted to try them both um, for Benson. I probably won't be eating these bars, but Benson likes bars and that's my kid, he, gets what he wants. Also got some Olive Garden croutons because I talked about these. We loved these, both Tim and I, so we got some more before they go. Um, I've, I think some of you guys told me that these are kind of like a come and go product at Aldi, like they'll be gone and then they'll come back. So got another bag just to have as a backup. I found these two bags of potato sticks. Um, these were interesting and I felt like these would be fun for the taste test. So they have the herbs of the Alps style ones and then they also just have the hash brown style plain ones. 
I feel like these are very like crunchy french fries, so they're fun. I'm gonna try them in the taste test. Now, I don't know if you guys had on the border restaurant in your hometown or locally to you, but I grew up with on the border restaurant and they I pretty much think they've all closed by now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen any of them, but I guess now they've branched out and they have their own line of food. So having Cinco de Mayo here, I thought these would be really awesome to have as a side chip and they are queso. So I think they're gonna be really delicious and I can't wait to try them. So that's why I grabbed those. Got some more Parmesan crisps for my son. And then last but not least, I got the brioche buns because like I said, I feel like summer is right around the corner and I've been wanting hamburgers again. Tim's been wanting burgers, so I got some buns for us. Plus, I love using these for sandwiches too because they're like the perfect size and they have that soft bun um, texture. So this is it for the video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun shopping in case you couldn't tell. And I would love for you guys to stop by the taste test. Come say hello. You'll see my face in that video. And um, you can comment and see what things we liked and what we didn't. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.